Hello and welcome to another video with Miss Shenya. Ooh, ah. Today for this project we're gonna be markers, some napkins or kitchen paper or toilet paper, a big paper or newspaper to put underneath, a normal paper or cardboard paper if you have one, water and three glasses with just a little bit of water in them. Let's do it. Oh, and one of these as well. The first step is to take one of the papers and cut out three long pieces. One, two, and three. Great. Now we're going to color them with the three primary colors. So yellow, blue, and red. With these three colors, we can make all the other colors. Now we're gonna take the three papers, we're gonna put them together and we're gonna cut them once and twice. Now we're taking the red and the blue, we put them together and we dip them in the water and leave them there to see what happens. We do the same thing with the yellow and the red and with the blue and the yellow. Great. We're going to come back to them later. This is what they look like right now. Ooh, uh. Well, we wait, we're going to do another project. You have to draw a face. I did mine smiley and color it in with the markers. Now we take it, we flip it over like this and we put it in the water. <laughs> Anything happen with those glasses with water and the color we added? Ooh, green. I'm helping it out with a marker to mix it a little bit. Orange. And guess the next color. What do red and blue make? That's right, they make purple. Those are the three secondary colors. Ooh, look at how they were before and what we got after. We use the primary colors to create secondary colors. Blue and yellow made green. Red and yellow made orange. And blue and red made purple. Secondary colors are the ones you get when you mix two primary colors. And this is the color wheel that we know about. It's called color wheel because it looks like a wheel. Oops, my poster in the background fell, but it's okay. I put it back and I'm fine. I promise I'm fine. All right, back to work. Okay, I'm gonna go change the water. first for one of the parts. And now I'm gonna put water here. I don't need a lot. So and we're gonna see what happens. Ooh. Uh. Okay, I like it. Now I'm gonna try putting marker here and then water. because it already has some. Nice. Now a little bit of water. Again, not too much, so make sure you squeeze it. And it 
kind of looks like paint. Now I use toilet paper. I'm guessing it works the same way, but just in case. Wow, look at my masterpiece, looks great. Now it's your turn. Let's recap. Number one, draw a colorful face on a napkin and dip it in the water. Number two, mix the primary colors to get secondary colors. And number three, make a painting with markers and water. Here's an extra experiment that I did. You don't have to, but feel free to play around and see what happens when you mix the water and the markers and everything together. All right, bye-bye. See you soon. We are coming together, uniting. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm not